Hello student, today we are going to learn types of molding sand used in foundry shop, sand in different conditions and having different uses. First, what is green sand? The sand in moist condition, wet condition is known as green sand. It is a mixture of silica sand with 18 to 30 percent clay, moisture 6 to 8 percent. The clay and water give binding capacity to the green sand. It possesses good plasticity and can be give any shape. It is used for casting simple, small, or medium size molds, medium size mold cavity. Gin sand, the sand in its natural, more or less moist state is called gin sand. The mold mold cavity prepared with this sand are called green sand mold. The metal, molten metal is poured in the green sand mold without any pure baking, without any PBS baking or dyeing. Okay. Ginseng is fine, soft, light, and porous. Okay. Next, what is dye sand? When moisture from Gin sand when water or moisture from gin sand has been removed by heating in a dyeing oven is known as dye sand. The dye sand mold prepare mold prepared by dye sand have greater strength, rigidity and thermal stability. Dye sand is used mainly for production of large and heavy casting. Dye sand Sand from which all the free and uncombined moisture has been removed, usually by heating in a dyeing oven, is known as dye sand. Dye sand 
is used mainly for production of large casting or where dimensional accuracy and soundness of casting are particularly important okay now what is facing sand the sand which is used against the face of a pattern and which form the face of a mold is called facing sand okay it should have high strength and high refractoriness as it comes in contact directly with the heated molten metal okay it is made of silica sand and clay without the addition of u sand that means without the addition of previously u sand different form of carbon is used to prevent the metal from burning into the sand okay a layer of facing sand in a mold ranges from 20 to 30 mm okay the sand used facing of the mold is called facing sand facing sand it comes in contact directly with the molten metal therefore it must possesses high strength and refractoriness different facing materials such as graphite molasses molasses means made from sugar cane etc are used okay now what is baking sand it is used on the back of the facing sand in a mold old repeatedly used molding sand is mainly employed for this purpose okay it is black in color due to the addition of coal dust and due to action of molten metal on the sand baking sand a sand used to back up the facing sand and not use next to the pattern not use next to the pattern is called baking sand this sand is used a number of times baking sand it is sometimes called black sand because of its black color 
baking sand before use the baking sand should be remove foreign materials like nails and pins etc that is used in previous okay now what is parting sand it is used for prevent the two halves of the mold two halves means cups and dark upper portion of the molding box and lower portion of the molding box from striking together parting sand separate two halves of the mold this is clean clay free silica sand which has no molding effect okay parting sand a mold is generally prepared into two or three boxes these boxes are separated to each other by spreading a fine sharp dry sand this is called parting sand okay now what is systematic sand what is systematic sand it is used in molding machine where facing sand is not used since the hold whole mold is made in machine complete mold is made in machine this sand is prepared artificially by adding suitable amount of additives binders water to the available sand okay the strength permeability and refractoriness must be higher than those of baking sand and facing sand okay in mechanical foundries where machine molding is employed a so called systematic sand is used to fill the whole flux flux means cup and dug molding box systematic sand the used sand is clean and reactivated by the addition of water binders and special additives here no facing sand is used okay now what is coarse sand the sand used for making core is known as coarse sand it is also called oil sand okay it is a silica sand and contain 
linseed oil, resin, light mineral oil, molasses, that means sugar cane, dextin, charcoal product and other binding materials. Okay. Coarsand is suitable sand mixture employed for making core. A core may be defined as any projection into the mold made up of coarse sand. Okay. Here, adequate permeability for escape gases and air generated during pouring the molten metal. Coarse sand, it is high refractoriness to withstand the effect of high temperature molten metal. Okay. Coarse sand should be able to impart good smoothness and finish to the core surface. Okay. It is clear my student what is the types of sand used